There's been a church on this site since the 12th century. And this is my family's gravestone. You see my name there? Youngest daughter of the spouses, James Ferrier and Helen Coots. My bones are part of the very foundation of the city. And there's plenty of room in the family vault for our next victim. Another critic heading this way right now. Not looking for my inscription, obviously. He's come here in search of the last resting place of Thomas de Quincey, the author of Confessions of an English Opium Eater. Things have come to a pretty pass when Edinburgh critics are more interested in an English junkie than a successful Scottish novelist. Quiet now. We don't want to scare him off. We'll let him get close up and then... Not so fast, Susan. You're doing this all wrong. Muriel, is that really you? You summoned me and here I am. I'm so pleased to see you. We're doing great work this night. Restoration, resurrection, revenge. Killing the critics who have smothered our reputations under a blanket of obscurity. Come, take my hand. Together we... Have all those years in the grave taught you nothing, Susan? This isn't the way we do things. We're not Burke and Hare, the resurrection men. We're women. We're smarter than that. Killing critics. You might as well take a vegetable knife to the seven-headed hydra. Get rid of one, and five other bloggers will rise up in their place. No, you're wrong. We have to teach them a lesson. Make them pay the price for what they've done to us. You think that will make them love us? Oh, Susan, you couldn't be more wrong. Subtle means, that's what we have to employ. We have to remind them that we are the creme de la creme. We've been betrayed, just like Jean Brodie was betrayed in her prime. But that's not the end of the story. Subversion, intrigue and machination, that's how we recover our position. Leave it to me now. But Muriel... You'd never know, reading her books, that Susan Ferrier could be so silly. A writer so alive to the absurdities of others should have a sense of her own travesties. Now, we have work to do. Shall we get on? 